How are you guys doing? I hope you are sanitizing, staying safe, and of course washing your hands as many times as possible because we have to keep this coronavirus out of our country. But today we're going to have an amazing show. We're here to talk about trending topics, what's happening in Kenya and internationally. Now our show is all about tea. We are serving tea hot. Now if you don't take tea, you can take coffee. Yeah? <laughs> so just want to tell you what our celebrities have been up to now before i get started i have to introduce you to my panel right here in studio i have the mwangis as we call him but i'm gonna let him introduce himself <laughs> Yeah. I go by the name Dennis Bob Maina across all social media platforms. No country of Dark, no country of Kapepetea. Ilika Kueka Zuri to Kakunye. Wamasema ni Kachai. We are like a Kachai to Kiendelea Evo. So don't go away. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, that is Danny. So the hashtag is y 2 for updates and back at home because I told you social distancing. We can have everybody in studio. I have other guys at home. One of them is JC. You already know her, and we have a newcomer on the show. It's his first time on the show. His name is Ronald. He's going to be joining us virtually. MCK is uh, Kidogo not feeling well, but shout out to you, MCK. Feel better soon. But first things first, let's meet the guys at home. JC, hi. Hi, 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 Phil. <laughs> you know, <are> you? You? <laughs> what's happening can you hear me hi yeah yeah i can hear you all right cool introduce yourself uh my name is jesse mogo na kama kawaida tuko hapa kudakua and ni vile tu tuna have to keep uh social distancing sorry ni kama deno na lalanga studio do a concert uh up on live every day <laughs> like if we assisted to kohapa representing i hope you guys are staying safe at home yeah all right <laughs> and like i told you we have ronald he's joining us virtually the note i just said ron hi how are you doing i'm good i'm good hi um hi. as usual you know everybody right we are sanitizing kila mm -hmm. mahali so just yeah. social distance, please sanitize, mm -hmm. wear mask, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. make sure that you stay at home. Those who people who are working at home, please just stay at home. All right, all right. Now they, now, go, they go. be helping us break these stories today. We're going to be breaking these stories down with them. Stay on the hashtag YTF4 updates. You can find me across all social media pages at Philin Jin. Now let's get started with our first story. Now controversial artist Willie Paul and Rington are controversial artists rather. Willie Paul and Rington are at it again. This time round over a song. Pose recently released a song Nikune featuring Nadium Kami and according to Rington the song is obscene and should be taken down. After hearing this Pose warned Rington to leave him alone or else he was going to beat him silly, which would be a shame given that he's older than him. In response, Rington offered to pay Pose 500000 to take down the song and use the money to make another song. I'm going to start at home. Mwangis. <laughs> Before I proceed, Jesse is still right, Let's do this. Let's do this. Before we go to Dennis, let us play you guys the videos so that you know what we're talking about, right? Too much. Let's get some team Billy. Uku na uku. Five hundred thousand, you 
na itakuwa aibu sana kijana wa juzi mtoto wa salon akikutandika kama nikunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunekunek
Uh-huh. Kwa uh-huh. niachi unajua anamwambia mm-hmm. pull mm-hmm. the video down mm-hmm. nikupatie 500,000 mm-hmm. tena utoe ngoma nyingine mm-hmm. will mm-hmm. will do the same mm-hmm. lakini atakuwa anatoa tuseme kama ni 50k alafu anabaki na 450 una get Okay tena kuna 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 ni kuna na we all can use some extra income right <laughs> But they know they know they know Deno deno na katani story what do you have to say katani uh-huh. Ronald what is your second name again Eish Ai ai so let's do this the hashtag is why to pay for updates we're going to move on to the next story now gangeton music group ethic issued a public apology over their latest song soko the apology read and I quote it has come to our attention that our recently released soko video has unintentionally promoted ped- pedophilic culture now we are therefore sending out a sincere apologies to all our fans and viewers at large as a result we have made sure the video has been taken down it is inaccessible and we shall not further upload it the group released a video of the song on sunday morning on youtube but the content of the song did not sit well with most kenyans including kfcb boss ezekiel mtua according to mtua the group committed an offense and will have to face the full force of the law as provided for in the films and stage plays act cup triple two now we checked it out and it states that and i quote any person who is guilty of an offense under this act shall be liable to a fine not exceeding 100,000 or imprisonment for a term not exceeding five years or to both such fine and imprisonment All right. So <laughs> Dennis, I'm going to start with you. Like, najua wewe unakuanga mteteaji wa gangeton music. What's your take on this one? Like, who's wrong, who's right? Should the apology have been enough? Wangacha hapo ama do they deserve to be punished? Because it's not their first time. There's other songs that have been pulled off YouTube also. Um okay, I'll say this. Mm-hmm. Now that they're pushing the pedophilia thing, yep. that's that's not something I really support. In my yeah. opinion it's very bad for it to be in any music but my problem still comes back to this moro police officer his name is Ezekiel Mutua this guy now that we are at home your job is now to study lyrics cuz yako ni kwanza kuzianalyze and then you start coming out it's either you come out clean and tell us if you have been paid to popularize these people tell us umekuwa mtu wa kiki siku hizi you're banning songs and then the next thing we know you're asking people to that you're going to take them to court right now by the way you should know no one is going to court and get going to jail so wow. so nini. you are taking uh, uh, ethics side no, I'm, uh, yes I'm I'm, i'm i'm trying to draw the line here mm-hmm. it's not good to bring out the pedophilia uh, content mm-hmm. but at the same time i feel mutua is just being too harsh on them he's being too harsh it's on not ethics. the first time he's talked about ethics yeah should there any gun in ethics All right. Maybe because they're the ones who brought about Gangeton. No, no, I kind of feel it's personal <laughs> for this guy. It's personal how he's dealing with these guys. All right. Mimi junior hapo walimkosea. Every game but after Dennis and Mekach. Dennis and Mekach. So we're going to go to the guys at home. <laughs> we all have to say JC, JC is another one. Just see by the API who support Gangeton. What, what what's your opinion? <laughs> so this is it. Um I don't I'm not here to advocate for sexual violence mm-hmm. in form mm-hmm. of a song by any means but I still have this to say it's only that we understand our Swahili language better there are songs which are sung by artists from outside Kenya and we know very well they use other obscene words it's just that they're in English mm-hmm. and we tend to see as the English language is better they come in a funika all that you know but when it's said in kiswahili moso sheng yes. then it comes out like nimbaya sana you get my point like yeah. i told you these guys were group before mm-hmm. i wouldn't say such words but, but you guys we talked about this and you know this so this is it i'm not advocating that uh, sexual violence equal promoted into into our music mm-hmm. by any chance mm-hmm. but i'm saying like to quote fair to both sides of the coin there are songs that are played here in kenya from other countries then yet tunajua ta sisi ukiimba wewe mwenyewe pia unasikianga i like z you know yeah yeah and by any means kwanza ana very famous exactly. that is one thing <laughs> i know 
Juka mimi nakumbuka niliingia group na uliza ati ni wimbo gani you know like I'm like wow they, they even have another song Yeah yeah all right, all right. Yeah. um Ronald, Ronald you as an artist what do you have to say Let me tell you something feeling eh? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I will agree partly with uh, Jesse mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but also mm-hmm. I will agree at some point with the uh, Ezekiel do you know why Yeah when yeah. it comes to to music Yeah. Or when yeah. uh, you're being a little bit of uh, artistic, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. We, we normally want to rhyme with mm-hmm. uh, one mm-hmm. word from the one word to another word, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, we have we have a culture to preserve on the other hand. You know, when uh, I have a family and these guys also have a family. So if you look at those lyrics very well, they will be promoting the sexual violence thing and uh, it's not a good thing for our own uh, society. <laughs> Mhm. Not mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Yes. So as an artist, I'll be able to say let's just write some um, uh, th- these lyrics that you can always listen with your dad or mom or even family together. As much as tunataka ku party, part part of life, but at some point we just need to question our words, you know? All right. All right. When you yeah, the the All right. So, I hear you. I know Naja nini sana washwa but we're not going to give him a chance. I'm going to go to the next story. <laughs> the hashtag remains white to five for updates. That is at film Jean at white to five for channel at Dennis Bob Miner at Jesse Mugure at Ronald. Okay, Ronald is going to be reminding us <laughs> his social media. All right, now rapper Calligraph Jones released a snippet of his new track. In the song he says that Bahati used to be mtoto wa mama but now he's been turned to Diana's child by trolls social media went into a frenzy making fun of Bahati with hopes that he would clap back but contrary to that both Diana and Bahati took the song positively and thought it was funny <laughs> Man, <laughs> let me tell you like do you know like literally on Twitter like you'll be on Twitter scrolling and you'll see people are calling Bahati Bahati Marua Exactly And you know that is Diana's second name Now you can get that Bahati Bahati mm-hmm. Bahati just um he's he's is actually calligraph just told us who is Bahati in a nutshell mm-hmm. Right That is Bahati in a nutshell Angalia This is bad is it or bad is reality. Mm-hmm. So you what, everything this guy does he either has to do with that uh, wife of his which is a good thing yeah mm-hmm. but in akani kama if bahati was alone he wouldn't be doing some things he was doing no, but the thing is they just do that because they think um his wife is a his little bit older thinks. than him <laughs> yeah his wife thinks that doing this bad is going to make something more out of it and for that fact and that fact only bad is here pulling stunts everywhere we know bad that is not you your wife is your manager we know <laughs> she manages you she manages every step of that guy from where he, as in come as your dana at this point yeah. I, i'm not sure see ana funga yembe apparently Yeah and that is really sad by the way it's not that like he is closing it already it, it actually already got closed mb shafungwa so it's just sad for gospel artists but we're going to go at home your fall. opinions and then we'll come back <laughs> to you jc they know to spam kaja da shinda kuongea jc what's up oh mm-hmm. uh Rich the two Kenyans nini aki if you listen to the whole song you know Kali wasn't dipping uh, Bahati do you know guys that Yeah. He was yeah. talking about cyberbullying. Mhm. Mm-hmm. That was his aim kwa hiyo bimbo. Mpaka amesema mambo mla moa, amesema sasa hiyo like Kenyans waliacha kuita bahati mtoto wa mama wakaanza kumuita nani? Mtoto wa bahati marua. Bahati marua. Ba, wa, oh, eh, wa marua. <laughs> so <laughs> So I don't know why Kenyans tuna pickingi to the bad but you know like wase hiyo clip hapo tu ndipo yenye ina trend hiyo hapo mali anasema hivyo. Yeah. Na ameongea yeah. mambo ya artist wengine wengi sana. He was saying like yeah yeah I'll quit even if you do that. You know. And this is it we should stop the bullying. I don't think kuna mali pa miandiko this is the right age ya huyu mse wa age kumari huyu. So I don't think sinanga mimi shida na union ya Bahati na Diana but what I think what I pity is that the fact that EMB ilifungwa, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That is, very that is... Yeah. 
progress you know you know you shana kuna progress in endelea exactly exactly oh, and the, oh, and the, 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 the main reason why the label closed it's because they lack support from the gospel industry i don't know how true that is but we're going to go to ronald <laughs> we're going to go to ronald ronald hi <laughs> Sorry. Um mm-hmm. out of OG, but not, no, I, I always look up to OJ most of the time. You look up to Kali Gravity. Baba yao. OG ni OG, you know. Mm-hmm. Lakini sasa unajua ikifika time, time ya bahati, bahati hata mm-hmm. nisikudanganye mm-hmm. filen, mimi nikienda binguni saa hii nipate bahati narudi. Exactly. Exactly. Literally. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, like, Hati is one guy. Eh eh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, video. Eh alikuwa <laughs> mtoto wa mama lakini sasa yeye kukwa mtoto wa Diana kwa Twitter. Look at how the Bahati asa zingine tweet. Nini zake tweet uh, zake zinakuanga so irrelevant most of the time. Uh personally no brief, <laughs> but just something of uh, concern. But you mom be grow up. Okay, okay. Bahati should grow up. I'm going to take your last comments. According to Ronald, Bahati should grow up. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Gosh. Where, where, where did Bahati go where? wrong? Where? All right, so, uh, but, 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 but anyway, saying that he lacks support from the gospel industry. Brother, you lack support from the gospel industry. The moment you started doing things like bunduks, suju like akinanani, how do you expect people to support you? The moment you start doing things to akina pita, This guy G is going through stuff and you can't even be there for him. You know, you can't you can't be calling yourself a gospel artist when you can't even stand up for your own. Your own. Look at EMB. EMB has been mad with so much so much uh, controversy. There is always somebody fighting some, someone. Ni kwa nini? What do you expect us to survive? It's a gospel industry. It's not the secular industry, bro. So, I'm very sorry you had to grow, uh, to close down EMB. Uh, I hope you do what you say. He was saying that he's going to transform it to something to do with children and something. I hope you do that and we we're going to be here to support you on that one. Because I don't like to require any gospel. Okay, sawa. So, uh, thank you so much. They know at ongea hadi kesho. Uyu, ana kwanga na why are you salty? Nishai, nishai. Uli chukua you took half full spa. Shout out to you half full but I feel no kwanga I'm salty. I know this. <laughs> You 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 took over that. Anyway, the hashtag is wait before updates. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, there's a chance you've watched them in one of the many viral videos making rounds on social media. The pole bearers are known for wearing matching outfits as they dance with coffins to send off loved ones. According to their leader, Benjamin Aido, the group has found a Kenyan manager and lawyer to help them capitalize on their newly found celebrity Tata says we have a video. <laughs> your name, your rights, anything, copyrights, issues. <laughs> so, like you lock down your name, your patent, or something like that. Do you have anything like no, that? No, 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 for now. But because um, um, the video has gone viral, mm. I've gotten um, um, a manager in Kenya and a lawyer in Kenya. So, if mm. you want to use without permission, yeah. Yeah, that Charles, Charles going thing. out to John Telewa, yes, your manager, yeah, man. Manager. My new friend, John. <laughs> I'll be in Nairobi soon after the corona. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So, your manager is Kenyan, yes. Your law rights, anything, copyrights, so, from, so, Ghana from to Kenya <laughs> with coffins. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> You you've seen their videos they are literally everywhere I think you got even kidogo and akuanguka unaona ngati wako hivi ana kucheki kidogo washaanza Kenya is our first so now they acquired a Kenyan manager and a Kenyan um, lawyer are they winning already me I want to know the names of those people those Kenyans mimi najua jina za mwisho za hao watu Ile mwangi mashari ya maina we know you we know you investment you know it's funny we are not flying we are not leaving the country yet but these guys they, they started trending when covid was something so i'm very sure it's it's uh, there's no way these kenyan people have already traveled from kenya all the way to ghana to ghana so, so they probably reached them through social media and how they even have a deal eh man they were kenya simu eish in the land then you're saying back a contract only <laughs> 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 i know 
It's amazing <laughs> being Kenyan. All right, um, JC, I'm going to be starting with you on this one. What's your opinion? Kenyans are fast. I'm on your deck. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I just start laughing even before I see the video of, of whatever you're coming. What do I like? No, no, I know our next story in Yakusu here. Uliona vile inaisha hapo mwisho hiyo story like what the way what he aki dance and then anaona gari ya makarao so I call like dude you you can't dance like yeah yeah like, it's just funny but one more thing I love mm-hmm. Kenya mm-hmm. guy my country people mm-hmm. Asha pata mm-hmm. wakili at this time ana wakia from wakili, home wakili na manager wana wakia from home yes yes <laughs> Jua sasa sasa hindi job pia wana wake up from home. That is so funny. It's I know the country people. Like we are opportunists. We'll just we we don't let anything pass, you know. Yeah. Like yeah. to bahati shangi. Ah, never, but, that can never that be can be never be us. Ronald. Ronald, no. <laughs> what's up? Ronald, what's up? Um Unajua, this was, I was trying to think of something, eh? mm-hmm. and I noticed mm-hmm. that uh, Kenya, we have the best lawyers in Africa. Yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. lawyers we have. <laughs> I think, oh, maybe I'll go. 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 I think, oh, maybe I say Kenyans we are always uh, opportunistic you know kitu yote tukikuja from nowhere it's always business for us we see an opportunity somewhere so tunaona to buy i say kama ni kubeba coffee in wacha tukue lawyers tukue matoni yes lawyers and managers kia tunduk beba sanduku tiki dance no all right stop That, okay, that is great. Donald, we're going to do the next story. Dennis, we're going to do the next story. But let's go to the next story. Now, just after we thought the Utawezana challenge was behind us, Amatatu Taut was filmed dancing to the song done by Major and Femi One in the viral video that was probably recorded by one of the passengers. The Makanga showed off his dance moves and even attempted to twerk, making the video more hilarious. What's funny is the part where he is caught by the police car that pulls up on him right before the video ends. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This guy was hilarious. <laughs> Mwangis. Um <laughs> Jawa, eh. You know me, me, I'm actually liking the way he's vibing to the song. Unajua, mm-hmm. he's like so into it. Oh, anaambia nini? Is the song as in I'm also doing this. I'm also talking lakini mazao makarao. I'm sure those cops didn't arrest him. No, I'm definitely sure. not. I'm sure they just didn't arrest him. They were like, hey, Buddha, what are you doing here? You're going to go to your house. And he's like, you're going to go to your house. You're going to go to your house. Again, I'm going to go to your house. And he was just actually having a time of his life. And it was on trend. Like, people were talking about him. 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 That was his dog. But it, anyway, the guy was enjoying his office work. It's up on the office here, okay? Dobe amekewa jibambe. So una ngoja akisikia utawezana. Si wote jaribu one kama tayari atawezana. You know, tuje tuachie watu wa jibambe. Hata those cops I'm sure they were just trying. Hata wao wangeulizwa wangeshuka wafanye utawezana challenge hapo nje. It's, it's a good thing. Watu watu wa jibambe. He was breaking no law. So hakuna mahali alikosea mtu. Watu wa jibambe. Hata mimi nafanya utawezana challenge leo. Eh, so stay tuned. Eh, msiende mahali. I'm doing that. Ama aje fidi. Sifanye utawezana. Uh, <laughs> never never I, I, we can't do that challenge we shall beat up but next time all right so um jc and ronald the comments foopy foopy because of time i mean i'm going to talk so uh now the only part so i'm paka kuna mali nafanya helicopter alafu anapindua kofia that part of the part immediately and then he starts talking alafu gari ya makarao on over sunday na but moja alichukua video ni haya sana au ni wale marafiki wenye onesa wanakula mchele yote wameficha na wasikupatie hata kichwa hata moja si hebu moja alikuwa achukua gari ya makarao mbona hakumwambia hapa until ikamkaribia you know Alim Sela whoever was taking that video ndio Alim Sela usani peshte yake I'm so sure Ron Utaizana imagine this coronavirus just imagine uh kama kafiu ilikuwa imeshafika kafiu saa kafiu imefika 
it's 6:59 mm-hmm. mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. alafu jamal kwa kwa kivo na gari ya karao ilikuwa na kama oh, unadhani marungu zingekula hiyo haga haki atachapa kwa we're going to do our last story now a hilarious video was shared on twitter by boneface kizito showing a young boy mimicking health cs mtai kagwe on how he reports daily coronavirus updates we have a video let's have a look all right as the video loads let <laughs> Okay, kwanza mtai kagwe. Let me tell you the kids at home just in case I'm just scare. Sim to a corona. Yeah? He is the health CS. His name is Mtai Kagwe. Sim to a corona. What you going to ask for is uh, online. Mm-hmm. Ni tafadhali tuendelee ku address hiyo na Masi. Eh uh, huyu uh, daktari anatuangalia vibaya sana. Hadi tunaangalia chini sana zingine tafadhali. Atimtai na wasomea hadi mnaangalia chini. Hadi mnaangalia chini. Faro Kenyans. Faro Kenyans. Ah tuna tuna tunaangalia chini please. All right, let's just, let's have a look at the video. We see if this kid nailed it or not, yeah? Okay. Good afternoon. Faro Kenyans. Today in Gobo Arena 154,828 people have died of coronavirus. Fortunately, 581 people 182 people have recovered as we continue. <laughs> I absolutely love kids. By the way, do you know honestly on the on the real though, unaambiwanga be very careful what you do around kids because they pick on everything. Every little thing you do. No to me ali mimi kadi accent. All right, so I'm going to the guys at home. Uh JC. Mhm. What's up? Mtuaka, <laughs> mtuaka. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best joke I've had so far. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean all this so it's very funny. We lost it but they it's true I what I'm joke about to a corona. Now this is it. Um <laughs> god. Uh wh- whenever okay can you, okay there, there's something that is always funny. There, there, there's always some fun to everything. Unajua kuna wase wameanza kuweka na anza kuweka snapshots when <laughs> when the press conference is going on do you guys know that yeah yes. yes. i've actually yeah. seen like, those yeah. with the president <laughs> yeah it's so funny all right um because of time i'm going to be coming back to you just to wind up but um ronald i want to hear what you have to say very short comments to wind up ronald all right jc I'm going to be wrapping up with Danny so I'm going to let you say your last yes. remarks. Uh Philip. All right. All right. Um um Danny's. Yo, um <clears throat> I go by the name Dennis Bob Mine across all social media platforms. Tunaendelea kuwakumbusha maze osheni mikono, osheni mikono, let's say safe, use a mask when you can, stay away from uh, like put the social distancing uh, in effect and uh, let's just be be prepared as they say, treat the next person there as if as in you you should be ready as if you have the covid so that you protect the person who's next to you. If you do that, we are going to be safe all of us tutakaa nyumbani tuta keep social distance jua utaka kuambukiza mwanzako yeah. that's the idea so let's say safe tujibambe na bado tuendelee kukafetea kachai 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 kaudaku kaudaku <laughs> kaudaku <laughs> too all right so i want to shout out the, the guys at home unfortunately i don't know what happened i think that internet i told you walking at home is hard walking from home is very tough but thank you so much for being part of the show do follow them on their social media at uh, Bob Miner this is this is Dennis Bob Miner Alisa <laughs> ukujisema but that is at JC Mugure and of course Ronald okay he's going to be here next week so atawambia um social media Ronald handle yake Aliwa. Ronald Aliwa <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much for being part of the show we appreciate each and every one of you and everybody who made the show possible um 
Shout out to Elivo right here, our camera person. We have Rose on um, on Palette Quatisi, and then there's uh, Moses on sound. Our director Timo. A big shout out to each and every one of you, and you guys for watching the show. We're gonna have an amazing show next week as well. Make sure you tune in. But thank you so much for watching. The hashtag stays Watch for updates. You can send us stories you want us to feature on the show, and of course, don't forget at Filin Jin across all socials, and of course at Y254 channel. Keep sanitizing and wash your hands as frequently as possible. Stay safe, and of course, we shall overcome. Kabisa, eh? I'm Tavazan. Kabisa, I can't even say much Tavazan. Eh? Oh, you're going to talk. You're going to talk. You're going to talk. I'm going to see you.